Michael Jackson fans are fucking retarded. You, you, you know why? Because uh, they support this, this, this guy, this 50-year-old fucking dead guy, which, in case you didn't know, if you're dead, it means you're a pedophile. Okay? Oh, and, 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 and he fully deserves to die because he's a child molesting man who should burn in hell. Oh, and, um, Michael Jackson touched children because, uh, because they were in his bed. Um, you know, like, the fact that they were in his bed automatically means he touched them. Yeah. I mean, I know I could... I mean, I know, you know, when I was a kid, I had sleepovers as well, and I occasionally slept in my own parents' bedroom, but if Michael Jackson does it, he's, he, he's touching them, because he's a celebrity, and, and celebrities touch children, so, yeah. There's, uh, the, in 2000 thing, yeah, I'm smart because I know the year of the trials, uh, Michael Jackson was accused by... Uh, Tom Sneddon, who is a very well-respected and intelligent uh, prosecutor. So that just means that Michael is even more guilty than than guiltiness. He's, he's guilty. Fucking guilty. We have the most intelligent people on our side, like, like, uh, like Warrior Within and, uh, and, uh, and Alfonso Soriano. Yeah. Two of the most intelligent and smart people in the world, and in one day, we will take down all Michael Jackson fans. Yeah. Fight the power. Michael Jackson's a pedophile because, because of his music. I mean, he writes songs like Heal the World. Only pedophiles write songs about healing the world. Real men write songs about sex and, 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 and drugs and, and alcohol. That's what a real man does, yeah. I mean, sex with women because they would never harm a child. Only Michael does. Oh, Wade Robson is fully telling the truth. Fully telling the truth because, uh, because he told Matt Lauer that he's telling the truth, so it's, it's true. He's telling the truth. So what if um, Jen Arvizo has a history of, of fraud and bankruptcy and, and, and poverty? That's just all the more reason to tell the truth. It's more reason more. It's more reason. Go Janet Arvizo. Uh, Evan Chandler didn't kill himself because of guilt. He killed himself because, because he knew that fans would come after him. He, he, he thought fans would come after him 20 years later because, um, because Michael Jackson's dead. And, uh, he thought since he died, those dumb fans would go after him right away because the fans probably thought that Evan directly killed him with with a gun, and that's, that's why he killed himself, because fans tried to hurt him, poor Chandler. Diane Diamond is a very well-respected journalist who knows exactly what she's talking about. The fact that she defended Michael in 1993 and 1995 means nothing. She, she just didn't understand what was going on. She didn't, she didn't understand it, but now she does because She's not biased at all. We are totally, we, we love you. We love you, Diane. We love you, Diane. Keep bringing down the evil that is Michael Jackson. The fact that Michael Jackson is a child in his mind proves that he's a pedophile because, because children are pedophiles. Wait. I mean, I mean, no, I, I got it. Um, Michael Jackson is a child in his mind and that makes him a pedophile because he thinks it's okay to sleep with other children because he thinks that he's a child himself and that means he touched them because I'll get it, I'll get it so Michael Jackson slept in, 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 in bed with children and he's a child himself in his mind because of his because of his past but he touched them because he th Michael Jackson's a sick freak yeah I won the argument the fact that Michael Jackson paid Evan Chandler the amount of money he wanted proves that he touched Jordan Chandler because only pedophiles pay off the guy with money. If Michael Jackson wasn't a pedophile, he would have fought. 
I mean, yeah, Michael Jackson did say in his own words that he was advised to pay him off so he can continue with his career, but that's irrelevant. That's just, that's an excuse. Okay? Just don't read about that. Just take my word for it, okay? Don't research. I mean, I didn't, so why should you? That taped phone conversation of, of Evan Chandler talking to that guy about framing MJ, okay? That wasn't a phone call about framing MJ, okay? He just said that Michael wouldn't sell another record because he knew that once he proves Michael Jackson's guilty, fans wouldn't want to buy Michael Jackson's stuff anymore. Oh shit, proved him guilty. I mean, let, let, let me rephrase, I got it, I got it, okay? He knew that if he, if, if he didn't prove Michael guilty, but just got money, that would be the same as proving him guilty. Michael Jackson is 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 guilty because um because he's guilty, okay? Psychological issues don't apply with Michael Jackson, okay? The word bed equals sex in my mind, nothing else. Okay? I mean, when I was a child and I had sleepovers with my friends, um I didn't think of sex, but Michael did because he because because he's Michael Jackson and and Michael Jackson thinks of sex. Okay? He does. I, I, I didn't, but he does, okay? And he does because, because I said so. And I, and I can tell from Michael's body language, that's right, I'm a body language reader too, that Michael um, thought about sex all the time. Even though he was very private in his relationships, he, he thinks about sex. Damn it! Michael Jackson bleached his skin, and he, and he, and he grew his hair long, and wore wigs, and had weird makeup on, and he tore his nose off. And, and, and all these things prove that Michael Jackson is a pedophile. Because he, he made himself look a little bit feminine. And if you're feminine, you automatically touch children. Okay? That's, that's just how I view the world. Okay, I couldn't fucking keep this video going any longer. It's so fucking stupid. Talking like an idiot is making me lose fucking brain cells. I don't know how these fucking people even, like, say these things legitimately and be serious about it, but anyway. Okay, so, guys, I hope, um, you guys had, are having a good day. It is June 25th. Michael Jackson died four years ago today. I hope, um, whatever you do, you make it through today. Don't cry too much. Um, I hope you guys pay your tributes, sing, dance, whatever it is you want to do to, um, keep Michael in your life and keep Michael alive four years after his death. I'm for sure going to be dancing tomorrow, um, hopefully with a couple people and I can make a video. And um, yeah, Michael Jackson, thank you for everything you've done for me, thank you for how much you've inspired me. I love you very, very much, and I will be, I will be a follower of yours until the very end. We all know that you're innocent, and thank you for the incredible gift you gave us the past 45 years. I love you, and I love you all fellow fans. Take care.